Now, whenever we're working problems in vector geometry, the whole thing, the whole idea is that we're applying what we know about vectors to geometric problems. So to do stuff like this, there are two main things that we need to know. We need to know the types of vectors, which I've described, I've linked below, but it's very important for us to know that. That is equal, opposite, and parallel vectors. And we also need to know the properties of geometric figures. So the properties of those type of stuff. For example, here we have a parallelogram, right? It would be good for me to know that the parallel sides of the parallelogram are also equal. That's going to come in very handy. The best way to show you that is by doing a problem. So let's take our parallelogram here, A, B, C, D, in which O, A is 2U and vector O, C is 2V. M is the midpoint of B and C, and we want to write in terms of U and V, A, C, O, B, and O, M. So let's first start with A, C, vector A, C. Right? The first thing we need to do is to identify where vector A, C is. So we're going from A to C. So it would be this vector that's formed right here. Now we can think about it using the same idea of travel, right? We want to get from A to C. We can't go there directly. So we can go around. So we can probably travel this way that we know. And then we can go this way. And I chose those two because I kind of can have an idea of what there are in terms of U and V. Now, that would be the vector going here, traveling here, and the vector traveling here. So I need to figure out what those vectors are. I already know that this vector down here is going to be 2v because as you can see 2v is going in that direction that's the side or the vector oc but i need to figure out this vector here oa is 2u and this vector is going in the opposite direction so it's the same size but the opposite direction so that means it must be negative 2u therefore ac we can say is equal to 2v minus 2u. The next one we want to figure out, let me use a different color, is vector OB. Can you identify where vector OB is? Well, it means that we're going from O to B, so it's going to go from here all the way over to here. So that's this vector right here, OB. Again, we want to move from O to B, so let's travel. We can take any route that we would we would like. So let's say I think I'm gonna go this way. I can travel from O to C and then C to B. So it's gonna be this same vector here, because it's still again it's still O C, and it's gonna be this vector going this way, which is C B. So O B is equal to O C plus C B. It's kind of like we're breaking it down. I already know that OC is 2V, right? But now I need to figure out CB. What do I know about CB? Well, remember that we know in a parallelogram, these parallel sides will be equal. So that tells me that OA is equal to CB. So since vector OA is going to be equal to vector CB, that means CB must be equal to 2U because we know that OA is 2U. Therefore, vector OB is 2V plus 2U. So we kind of broke down the vector and we saw how that worked. Right? Now the third question, we want to find vector OM. Okay, So I'm going to travel to vector, means I'm traveling from O to M. So I'm going to put that in green. So that's from O all the way over to M. How do I get from O to M? Well, I could travel from O to C and then from C to M. So O M is O C plus C M. Now, what do we know? Again, we already know that O C is 2V. So I can write that as 2v. But do I know what vector cm is? Hmm. 
Well, I know that M is the midpoint of B and C. And I also, I already know what B, well, I already know what CB is. And CM is going in that same direction, right? So that means since M is the midpoint of the vector formed on CB, then OM, or sorry, CM, vector CM is going to be a half of vector CB. So it's going to be a half of CB. We know that CB is 2U, so that's a half of 2U, and a half of 2U is U. Therefore, CM is equal to U. And that means vector OM will be 2V plus U.